Hey guys, this is Jerry. The United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union, the EU, and this is going to um, change the course of Europe, change the course of the United Kingdom, and the markets have already reacted, but that's just temporary. So I found this amazing exit poll data that breaks it down, breaks the Brexit voting down by age range, and I will link this down below so you can see it for yourself. Out of all the people who voted, in the 18 to 24 age range, 75% of people voted to stay in the EU. So that means 25% of the people voted to leave. In the 25 to 49 age group, 56% voted to stay in the EU. So 44% voted to leave. In the 50 to 64 age group, 56% voted to leave the EU. So only 44% of the 50 to 64 age group voted to stay in the EU. And then in the 65 and above age group, 61% voted to leave. The young people really wanted to stay in the EU and the middle age and older people seemed to want to leave. I'm not going to analyze whether Brexit was the right move or not. What I'm going to analyze and what I'm going to explain to you guys is if you look at the demographics of the UK and break it down by age group, this was inevitably going to happen. The old people were inevitably going to win. Why is that? Because there are more old people in the UK than young people. In such a very, very close, tight race, the little more percentage of people that are old are going to be the deciding factor and that's what I'm going to explain to you guys today in this demographic breakdown. I looked up the census data or the census estimate, the latest. The United Kingdom has about 65 million people right now. I looked at the CIA data of the demographics. Now the CIA doesn't do it like 18 to 24, like how this graph that I found from YouGov does it. Instead, it breaks it down by 15 to 24, 25 to 54, 55 to 64, and 65 and above. The CIA breaks down the UK demographics a little differently. What we have here is ages 15 to 24, it's about 12.41% of the population. Ages 25 to 54, that's about 40.91% of the population. 55 to 64, that's about 11.58% of the population. And 65 and above, that's about 17.73% of the population. And you're asking, where's the other percentage? That's anyone below 14. I didn't count that because they're not going to be able to vote. Let's just do a little thought experiment. This 15 to 24, imagine if all 15 year olds could vote. So anyone above 15 can vote. For a thought experiment, let's assume that every single person, 15 to 24, wanted to stay in the European Union. So 8 million people wanted to stay in the European Union. 25 to 54 kind of goes through both age groups, the 25 to 49 and the 50 to 64 age groups that YouGov had. So for the sake of simplicity, let's just assume 25 to 54 year olds half and half. So half of them wanted to stay in the EU, half of them wanted to leave. So that makes 13.3 million, 25 to 54 wanted to stay in the EU and 13.3 wanted to leave. So let's assume for a thought experiment that every single person in age group 55 to 64 wanted to leave the EU. So that makes 7.5 million people in favor of leaving. And then 65 and above, the, the YouGov poll showed that a majority of them wanted to leave the EU. So let's assume for simplicity that all, every single person, 65 and above, wanted to leave the EU. So that's 11.5 million people wanted to leave the EU. What's going to happen is 21.4 million people are going to be in favor of staying in the EU and 32.4 are going to be in favor of leaving. Because there are more old people in the UK, the old people are going to win out. It's pure demographics. What would really help my analysis is if we get back 
results of how many people actually turned out, the voter turnout, that would help this analysis a lot. Because I know in the United States, for example, voter turnout is much higher as you get into the higher age groups. People who are young just find excuses not to vote and people who are older, they're either more patriotic or they feel it's their civic duty or they just have nothing to do, so they vote more. And I don't know if this is the case in this Brexit vote, but if that is the case, that not only are there more old people in the UK, but that the old people also voted more, then it makes this Brexit result, knowing the attitudes of the old people in the UK, it makes it even more an inevitability. So young people, what can you do in the UK if you really, really want to take back your country? Have more babies. <laughs> Have more babies. So there are more young people in the UK eventually as more of these old people die out. So in the future, you guys can take back your country. So I thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you.